Today we're going to be helping you out with a round of backflip or round of back tuck or Arab spring back tuck or Arab spring backflip, whatever you like to call it. Like we say, there's so many different names and different ways of doing it. We're not saying ours is perfect. All we're going to show you is the way that we do it. You want to get a bit of speed. Um, I'm, I'm still not confident to do it like with one one step and doing a round of backflip. But um, if you're starting, it generally is a good idea to get a bit of a speed going just to help you with uh, your momentum. You want to place, uh, so when you want to do it, it's similar to a cartwheel that you want to place your one foot forward. So I lead with my left foot like a normal human being, yeah. not like this maniac who does it with his right foot. Your right hand for your right foot, your left hand for your left foot. You want that to come down and touch the floor near mustn't be like on your foot, but you want it fairly close to your foot. You want it to go down and touch the floor as your foot is about to leave. So it almost actually as if you're putting it at the same time. So you um, need to be quite flexible. Yes. Do stretch. Flexibility is a key thing. Um, so yeah, place it down before your feet actually, foot actually comes off. As it's going down, you want to kick your other foot and you want to kick up. It's not like back or foot sideways or anything you want it to kick up so that you can get your body to go over and then your other hand will come down naturally so as it goes up your other hand comes down and you don't want to put your hand too far or, or too close to your other hand it needs to be just under shoulder width apart um, too close and you might not have enough stability um, and too far you don't have enough power it's uh, something that I uh, really struggled with and I'm saying like but I'm doing a cartwheel I'm doing a cartwheel it's not a cartwheel it's an Arab swing or round off as your hand comes down in the correct place you want to push it's the shoulder pop as you land on that back you'll feel all your momentum is going back you want to then punch up um, so that obviously you don't land just straight onto your back so you can transfer the momentum up and that will then help with your back flip so as you punch up with your momentum going back, it'll bring you over and then um, the, the technique for a backflip, you just apply that, throw your hands up, chest out, tuck um, as tight as possible, and then open up. This is the first tricking parkour free running move that I ever learned. And I did it outside of my back garden by myself without watching any tutorials or anything like that. And it got a little bit hairy at times because I'd seen people just in certain places doing it and I just saw them do a cartwheel type thing and a backflip so I thought well I can do a backflip and I was right I could do it but my technique was terrible and I would hurt myself quite badly especially on my, my shins my ankles and my knees because I was just running and forcing it but I was able to do it which tells you that it's a fairly easy move because I had no technique no practice had done nothing else but I was able to land it it did take a little bit of dedication, but I could do it. So it's easy, do go for it with the proper technique, it'll be a lot easier. So the idea is the faster you go and the more outspread your round off is, the higher your backflip will be. Whereas if you do a uh, higher round off, the further your backflip will be. When we were doing it at the gym the other day, I did a round off backflip over seven. Quite comfortably, not even with a tuck, like a, a slight layout, not a perfect layout, but enough because of I mean, five years of practice and quite a lot of dedication. It's about learning their technique correctly, applying it, and it becomes a lot easier and a lot more fun. Because you can do it whenever you want, wherever you want. And this is what it looks like. Um, it is important to remember that it does take practice even now knowing the technique that will help you the most you know like, like we always say there's lots of different ways to do it this is our way that we use it you know even knowing that knowing that Byron can do a backflip of me doing this technique it doesn't mean that you can just straight up off the bat be able to do a backflip over your friend you know it's still 
you know, he's been teaching me for two years now. I, I still can't do a backflip over him. I can do a round off backflip, but it's nowhere near that height. And I know the proper, the proper technique. And I know uh, that, you know, it is possible. I've seen him do it. He's done it over me, you know, but it's still, I'm still practicing. I'm still getting there. There was a point where I was too scared to do them. Now I can do them. They look a little bit sketchy, but you know, just that <laughs> progression that you just, you got to keep going. Like you said, dedication, practice, and then you will be too late doing them over your friends. Um, hopefully not into them. <laughs> yeah. We have had a few close calls. This is not like, yeah. And in my how to do a standing backflip tutorial, I mentioned that you should learn a round of first. And the way I progressed from the round of to the backflip was again because I didn't have proper technique or people around to spot me. So I wouldn't suggest doing it this way, but this is the way I did it. I would break up my round off. So I'd do round off backflip, then I'd try and do round off backflip, round off backflip. So I'd break, make a bigger time between that because in my mind somehow it made more sense. I had more confidence after doing a round off. So my first standing back I ever did was a round off, paused, did a backflip. This got up immediately again, did another backflip until I was confident enough to continue. So if you don't have the luxury of having people around or safety equipment or anything like that, that's what I can suggest to you. I preferably have the safety mats and the people to yeah. help you out. It's a lot safer. So we hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative and entertaining and blue background. Was it turquoise? Teal. Teal. Sea mist. Sea foam. Aqua. Bluey. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Seb isn't a lawyer, so he won't fight you on this. It is important. But we know what we'll